Hey guys, hopping back on to make this quick video. Um, in the comments section the other day when I put up the video about timber rights and land investing, um, somebody put up a comment on where do you get the good deals and I told them I, I should be making a video on some of the deals I got burnt on. And I don't like to talk about this a lot because if you guys follow my channel, you know I'm a real positive guy. I'm motivated. I believe that the energy that you spit out into the world comes back to you. So I don't like to talk about you know, the only L's I got in life are lessons. There's no losses, <laughs> right? So we don't like to talk about losses, but there are um, snafus that I've had in the real estate world, especially in the land investing world, where I've started land in, when I started land investing back in 2011, 2012. Um, as you can see, I've built out domains, ArizonaLand.co. I don't want to give you guys the finger, but there's a finger, ArizonaLand.co. There's another one here desertland.us. If you guys know me, I'm an entrepreneur. I also sell gold, silver, coins, banknotes, numismatics on nickynice.com. That's that one there. Those are my plaques on the wall like a rapper, my business degree, my law degree, the stock for my company. Um, but and these are where I have my land holdings. So I got dots where I have my land holdings. Um, but let's talk, let's talk about some of the, the, the snafus in land investing. So I'm going to be real with you guys, man. Um, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing and I got burnt, man. So I've bought land on a special warranty deed that was pre-recorded to someone else, which means it didn't transfer over to me, which basically means I spent land on uh, money on nothing. So, um, that has happened to me. I've had, um, properties that I've purchased where once I purchased them, um, there was back taxes on them that I didn't know about that happened. Um, there was association dues that were due back due. On some properties I purchased, that happened. Um, there were properties I purchased for a dollar at an auction that ended up having more than $600 in back taxes and association fees. That happened. Um, so, you know, my, my land investing career hasn't been uh, squeaky clean. And I don't think that it's going to be for any land investor who's serious about their uh, or any investor who's serious about their craft. If you're investing, I don't care if it's stocks, land, bonds, um, businesses, eventually you're going to get burned. It's part of the, the process. Uh, I'm skeptical if you tell me you never have gotten burned. It probably means you haven't done enough deals in your life. Um, but those are some things that you should be cautious of, especially when you're talking about land investing, is making sure that there's, you know, you know the tax situation before you go in, um, making sure you know the association, any association dues before you go in, um, making sure if there's any encumbrances on the land, right? So I've been to, a, I buy a lot of sight unseen land, um, which is which is not dangerous, but it's risky, right? What happens if there's somebody squatting on the land? What happens if there's somebody um, that built something on the land that can increase your tax base or um, takes down something on your land that can decrease the value of the land? These are things you have to watch out for when you're land investing, especially when you're when you're um, land investing sight unseen, right? So when you're buying land in the middle of nowhere. Um, what are some other things? Um, the county. So sometimes the counties won't have their situations right and they send you the wrong tax bill or they send you the wrong deed or they record it wrong. Um, that's happened to me. Um, there's been counties where you pay the taxes and then they lose the filing and they'll, sell, they'll send you another bill. So you have to keep good accounting when it comes to land investing. Um, or any transactions with the government to make sure that they have their process in order. Because when you're land investing, for example, one of my um, one of the lesson, hard lessons I learned was that buying cheaply doesn't mean that you're winning all the time, right? So here, my goal is to buy in all 50 states. And as I'm buying, what ends up happening is I got some in New Mexico, I got some in Arizona, right? I got some in Nevada, and every county is different. What does that mean? That means my tax base in Elko, Nevada is super cheap. Right, I paid thirteen dollars a year there for ten acres in Cochise or Cochise. I don't know how to pronounce it. Arizona, um, the land association there is is taking me for a quarter quarter acre. I'm paying I think like um, uh, thirteen dollars. Right, so almost it's almost the same as I'm paying for ten acres up in Elko. The problem is that in some of these counties in Arizona, they don't have their shit together, for lack of a better word, and um, they're constantly sending me repeat bills or telling me I didn't pay something when I did pay it. Um, so you got to be real careful. And then I have another property up in uh, Michigan in an association that, I mean, I pay more in the association fees yearly than I paid for the whole property. Um, and it's still, the, the properties are still being developed. Now, that has a lot of amenities, but um, 
these are just some of the things that you want to be careful for. But, you know, as far as getting burned, do you get burned in land deals, you know? Absolutely, man. You get burned in any deals that you're going to be proficient at that you're practicing in. So if you're a land investor and you haven't gotten burned yet, expect to get burned. I mean, do all your best, you know, to, to learn. Um, I love Warren Buffett's quote. He says, you have to learn from mistakes, but they don't have to be your own. So that's what I try to do now. You know, I try to, I'm throwing an event on May 3rd for those of you guys following the channel or my social media channels. And I'm there, you know, uh, networking and getting in contact with real estate investors and social media uh, gurus, quote unquote gurus, and um, uh, e-commerce experts and people that are actually doing it, people that are actually building big business. Why? Because I want to learn from their mistakes. I don't necessarily want to learn from mine. But if you're into land investing, make sure that you're, you're looking up the, the property with the county, you're looking it up with the state, you're looking it up uh, to make sure that there's no um, association dues, any back taxes. Um, if you can take a trip out to the property, that's probably best. Um, if you're buying it in bulk, check out the seller to make sure that they're not, you know, they haven't have any issues or their reputation is, is clean. Um, and then make sure, you know, that, you know, uh, if there's resources, if you're buying it for a certain amount of resources, do the geology test, do the timber test, do the, um, have a forester come out. If it, you're talking about forestry operations, have a, a geologist or, or um, a driller come out. If you're talking about mineral rights or oil or gas to make sure you understand what you're buying. Um, and those are just a few of the pitfalls, but you know, to answer the que the question directly to one of the comments that I posted in my other videos below, you, I get burned, man. You get burned as a land investor and that's okay. Um, as long as it's not a big amount and as long as you're learning from your mistakes, um, it's always a lesson and not a loss. So hope this was helpful, man. If you guys want to know anything about me, I have a, a land holding a company, five states I have property in, over 30 plus properties. Uh, went to law school, went to business school. Have a ton of online businesses that I operate through. My main gig is I'm a business plan writer, business consultant, do financial projections, business plans, websites, everything from the napkin to the NASDAQ and a couple other service sites. Um, but I'm a lifelong entrepreneur. If you guys got any questions about land investing or want to share your stories on land investing, um, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear you guys, uh, what you guys are doing with land investing. Talk soon, guys. Hope this was helpful.